Namaste. How is everybody on this fine day? Whatever day you choose to watch this. This is your energy reading for April. We're going to start this reading with my little cards. Let's ask the universe what we need to know for this April in order to manifest the life that we truly desire in every breath that we take and every step that we make. Let go of the people who do not wish the best for you. Release, forgive and heal. Now is the perfect time to say goodbye to those friends, those habits, those situations, jobs, even family members that you don't gel with anymore. Those things that no longer serve you, you are allowed to let go, release and heal from it so that you have got the capacity to invite those things that are really going to be good for you and that are aligned to your soul purpose. You'll be able to attract those things now. April is all about the fiery excitement of life. What does the universe want to tell us for April? Lotus flower unfoldment. You're all aware of the chakra systems, right? Roots, sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, crown. Then there's the earth star underneath us and then there's the other one that's on top. I don't know what it's called. I do know what it's called but I can't remember right now. So I think it's the crown chakra where the thousand petaled lotus is situated right above your head and that is your connection to source and divine understanding and knowledge and wisdom. Now this card is coming out because your entire persona is unfolding every step of the way and you are becoming the person that you're meant to become. The person that you were born to be is unfolding right now and your life, everything that's happening in your life at this moment is all happening for a purpose, especially, especially the painful parts. And I know that it sounds like it's probably not the best thing to hear, but embrace these painful situations in your life because they are actually stepping stones and lessons that you need to learn in your development as a human being, as a sovereign being, as a divine being. Okay, I'm going to ask the cartomancy cards what they would like to tell us right now. For April, mind, body and spirit. What does our mind need to know right now for April? For the mind, we have the nine of hearts, selfishness and excess. We might be overly hanging on to things that isn't serving us well. We might, we might even be hoarding in a certain way, holding on to things that don't resonate with us anymore, which needs to be addressed in this month of April. So when your cup is overflowing, give what you don't need. Personal note, I hoard chip packets and junk, literally, cardboard and chip packets. Chips, biscuits and sweetie wrappers. Because I've got these wonderful plans with them to make artworks, but I actually should just allow them to go put them in the recycling bin but I feel like I want to do something with them so I hang on to them and I hang on to them and now I've got thousands of chip packets I'm a hoarder I am a hoarder so this is definitely me it definitely resonates with me I need to let go of the things that don't serve me let go of the things that are holding me back and that's what this and this 
are all about. That's for the mind. Now let's see what the body needs to know for April. For the body, we've got the Jack of Spades, Caution and Potential. What does this mean about your body? What it means about our body, our bodily system, is that we need to be cautious about what we're doing with it. We need to be aware of what we are um, exerting upon our body or opposite of exertion, you know, not doing anything is also something that you need to be aware of. Our body is reaching a potentiality that is way greater than we have known before. And therefore, we need to proceed with caution. We are undergoing changes within our DNA structure at this very moment. And in April, we will be opening up to new abilities that we have not yet experienced yet in this lifetime. So what we need to do is hold, put the brakes on. Say if you are exercising, running all the time, do a little bit less, give your body time to rest. And also if you're not exercising, start doing something, but slowly, little jogs, little runs, little walks, go swimming in the ocean, hike up the mountain, do things in, in nature. But don't overexert your body and don't underexert your body because the potential because the potential is rising up within our souls to turn our body into the super machine which we've never ever experienced before but it's going to undergo changes which may be painful so be aware of that now what does our spirit need to tell us for april okay our spirit is the ace of clubs the ace of clubs spirit courage it's a lion overcoming desire and building trust we need to learn to trust our instincts we need to have the courage to overcome our physical desires like going to the club drinking with our mates or doing things that we know are not good those are physical desires we need to overcome them we need to build trust within ourselves and have courage with what we are doing with our lives so our spirit is calling us to trust our intuition. Trust it wholeheartedly with every cell that we have in our bodies. Because our soul knows where it's going. And our soul knows how to direct us. So we need to trust that. Now I'm going to read you a poem from my book, The Age of Poetic Intent. If you are interested in purchasing one of these, they are available on Amazon, take a lot, and just look, Google this name and you'll find it everywhere. You're only a cat scratch away from pure happiness. An etheric body full of little scars, waiting for the wounds to heal, so that bliss will finally be the only thing you feel. You have to remember that all our experiences are lessons for us to remember our power. And licking our wounds will balance our feelings. And forgiving ourselves will help us grow tall like mountains and deep like oceans. We are multidimensional and uniquely inseparable considering the separation consciousness on this planet. But that's why we are starting to remember our infinite divinity to reconnect with the God we seek. Now we're going to take another card. What does the universe want to tell us for April? Number one, the High Lady of Love and Compassion, Reverence, Kindness and Consideration. We need to be kind to those that we do not understand. This card speaks of giving back to society in every kind action that we do. Recycling is an easy, easy one, an easy start. 
giving back to the community by giving your time to help people, giving money if you have that kind of thing, charitable things. It doesn't have to be giving to a charitable organization, but helping somebody that you know on the street get back on their feet or something like that. Because it comes back a thousand times over. And also this card is telling you that the High Lady of Love and Compassion sees you, notices you, and knows that you are doing what you are doing to help others in your own capacity. She says, go out of your way and help others, but also don't go out of your way and help others. Don't overdo it. Do it in your capacity and don't do it out of guilt. Do it out of love. There's a difference. Um, it's always the intention behind the things that we do that is the most important part of this process. She's saying love everything and you will see how everything starts to love you back. And this also has a lot to do with nature ourselves, giving back to nature, giving back and watering our gardens and our plants, growing our food in our gardens and giving them love and support and nourishing and nurturing them. And then suddenly we've got these bright red tomatoes that are so delicious, they taste like heaven. Because you gave them love and compassion. That's why it's the number one thing that we do all the time. Right? Angel number one from thesecretofthetarot.com Angel number one is like a green light from the angels and ascended masters. You are empowered to manifest your desires at this time. The vibrational essence of number one is associated with many meaningful attributes, including independence, positivity, ambition, leadership, and new beginnings. Number one is the number of the creative, and powerful individual whose focus and energy can bring new things into manifestation. As an angel number, the number one speaks of new beginnings and fresh starts. Your guardian angels may be showing the number one in as many ways as possible to either warn you of changes that are coming or to encourage you to make important changes. Your guardian angels are int always interested in helping you achieve your personal potential. Guardian Angels and the Ascended Masters are always with us, supporting us with love and encouragement. Angel number one is the angel number that you are likely to see often on your spiritual journey. As a spiritual person, you are likely to encounter new beginnings all the time. Seeing angel number one again and again means that the universe is offering you a new beginning, a clean slate. Stay open to all possibilities and stay focused on your desires. Seeing angel number one is usually a sign from the angels that you are about to manifest something very important in your life. You may be looking for a breakthrough in your career or love life or something that will provide you with the fulfillment and meaning that you have been looking for. When you see angel number one appearing again and again, it is a sign that you are on the cusp of attracting what you have been looking for. When this happens, be careful how you use your mind and what you focus your attention upon. Staying positively focused on the positive and life-affirming attributes of our desires is an essential part of the manifestation process. By paying close attention, when we see angel number one in its many forms, we will receive the guidance necessary from our angels to manifest the perfect conditions to achieve our goals. The spiritual meaning of angel number one. There are no such things as coincidences in life. Your life is and always has been linked with your guardian angels. They have always helped you when you were in need. They have heard your prayers, praises, thoughts, and desires. What were you thinking about before seeing the number one? The most known meaning of angel number one is about new beginnings and new positive changes that are about to take place in your life. Maybe new opportunities you have been waiting for a long time are about to show up in your life soon. 
Be confident and excited about this new period you are about to enter. Open your mind and heart to try new things. Go to events you've always wanted to go but never had time. Trust in what is in front of you and have faith in what is about to come. The unknown. Only the best things will come out of this experience. Only good will show up on your path. Start living a magical life and let the universe guide you. Whatever your current situation is, angel number one is a powerful message of courage, opportunities, new beginnings and greater love. These messages once acknowledged the follow and followed will bring joy and fulfillment in your life. Enjoy this journey on earth and let magical, perfect and amazing experiences that are about to enter in your life. What else would the universe like to tell us right now for April? 2021 boundaries going hand in hand with love and compassion you also need to know where to set your boundaries don't overstep your exertion of energy set boundaries in place before you even wake up in the morning what I do is put a, bu a bubble of protection around me when I wake up and I just tell this bubble I, I put love inside of this bubble and it's a bubble that goes around me like this it's a nice little bubble um, on the outside it's like a mirror so any negative person entity energy will just see itself and won't see me so they won't even think to try and do harm and also it helps me feel safe in my own bubble that's the main main thing I'm giving love back to myself instead of allowing it to leak out and boundaries means saying no. Learn to say no. And boundaries means letting go of the people that don't serve you. Letting go is the best way to protect yourself and say no. You might feel a little bit of guilt for letting go of these people, but don't feel guilty because the right people are on their way to you, but they just need the space. So those, those old stuck energies are just holding space that you don't you can't recycle this space. You've got to get rid of somebody to bring somebody new in. People, things, you know, mental, like mind tricks. Your mind plays tricks on you. The way you th talk to yourself, the way that you treat yourself. It's also very, very important. Set boundaries within yourself. For instance, you have a job and you keep getting asked to do overtime, but you're not getting paid overtime. Or you're doing extra jobs and not getting paid for it. And you're doing it out of love, thinking that it's a good good thing, that you're being kind. But meanwhile, you are actually stepping on your own toes because you're allowing this to happen. You're allowed to say no. Set boundaries and keep them. Especially in relationships. Set boundaries and keep them. Say, no, I don't want to watch the Formula One racing with you this weekend. I want to go dancing with my friends. Set boundaries and keep them. Let's take another one of my little guys, see what the universe wants to tell us. Any closing messages from the universe? There's two. One. There may be a storm around you, but inside your heart you will always find peace and calm. Repeat that with me. There may be a storm around you, but inside your heart you will always find peace and calm. Your heart holds your peace and calm. You are one tiny drop in an ocean full of love. You are the love of the universe. Say that again with me. You are one tiny drop in an ocean full of love. You are the love of the universe. That is a beautiful card to close this off with. So for April, we need to remember to be compassionate to ourselves most, most importantly. Because without ourselves, we cannot give compassion and love to everybody else. So give back to yourself, give back to nature. And then if you've got some energy, you can give back to the odd human being here and there. Because you are unfolding every second that the clock ticks. Every breath you take, your life is unfolding before you. So you need to be able to grasp it with your hands and say, I've got you, baby. And if you've got too much give it be cautious about your body because it has the potential to do many many things and your soul asks for you to have courage and for you to trust 
in your intuitive guidance and overcome your desire to go backwards like we all do sometimes and also be compassionate with yourself when you do go backwards because we are just human and let go of those people who do not wish the best for you release forgive and heal it's simple it is just believe that it is and it is and there may be a storm around you but inside of your heart you will always find peace and calm because of the fact that you are one tiny drop in an ocean full of love you are in fact the love of the universe namaste have a beautiful april have a beautiful beautiful april and i hope all your wishes and dreams come true from my heart to yours see you next time